Hi everyone, it's Ayosia here. I just wanted to come on here quickly to share um, some new journals that I've made. Um, these are Christmas themed journals and um, I, I'm going to list them to today in my shop, although two of them are already spoken for. So actually, let me just move those out of the way. So I have four journals um, still available and um, yeah, I had a lot of fun making these just it's it's the earliest I've I've um ever got started on Christmas journals, but I don't know. I just wanted to um get into that this year because I felt excited and also it's actually been a really comforting thing to do. You know, we're all in precarious times, so it's just been really nice to be quiet and um make these journals. So I spent the last uh couple of weeks, a couple of weeks maybe three weeks ago I painted a new set of wreaths um I don't have them to hand to show you I'll just go and fetch them yeah um let me just find the Christmassy ones that's an autumn one by the way this one's a free printable on my website I, I advertise that on um on um Instagram but I'll put the link to the my website is under the freebie section you can print this out and it's just like it's a free gift to have that available just to celebrate autumn although i am now talking about christmas journals um so yeah i painted these christmassy wreaths um a couple of few weeks ago and that was really um lovely thing to do but anyway i've only got three there, there's more than three but i've only got three to hand anyway um they they form the basis of these journals so you'll see these wreaths um reproduced in different ways throughout the journal so uh where to start each journal um measures um eight and a half by five and a half inches um there are two signatures and approximately 120 pages, 120 sides, front and back. So you've got more than enough to do December daily and, and more and all your journaling for this season. Um, they're all very, very similar. So I, I won't go through, I think I'll probably just flip through one in detail and maybe flip through another one. But all the papers are very similar. It has the same um, things on the inside, the same tabs like everything is really really similar so you only really need to see one in detail and just to say that each journal comes with a a, a goodie bag <laughs> I, had, I had a lot of fun putting these together as well so let me show you one in detail I as well show you this one because i'm holding it um and just to say that some of the journals have this wreath on the front and some of them you probably can hardly tell the difference anyway some of them have this one that's and then they each have a different little ornament on the front as well but everything else is the same okay so let me just get myself organized okay so the journal has a large pocket on the front um which is got a late it's got two pockets actually one in there and then another one in here and this is made from like a crochet doily and a bit of vintage napkin and then this one has got some lace and then this leaf trim and two two buttons. I like the combination of the trim and the buttons um, because they look a bit like berries. And then, then the, the the wreath, printed wreath that lives in the pocket. But you can, of course, put anything you want in the pocket. I actually thought this might be a nice spot to write something even um, or stick a little label there or whatever. And then there's just a, a, a fun nutcracker peg that's holding this ornament both of which are removable and then in the back is also a pocket a lace pocket there and then there's a ribbon this red velvet ribbon closure and the cover is fabric um, reinforced with card and then on the inside um, it's got a paper paper inside cover so let's hope this is in frame so yeah, there's an inside um, inside pockets as well. It's made from uh, canvas and lace and doily uh, tr trims. And then in here, I've put another 
collection of wreaths that I've painted. For the last three years, I've done December daily, and each year I've designed a wreath, you know, to use as a template for my numbers for each day. So, for example, this is my December daily journal from last year. And I, um, let's see, I had a wreath for each day. And so I had, I painted that wreath obviously printed it out several times and then put a sticker with the number. So that's an example of how you could use these re these ones, these wreaths in your journal. Um, I have put in a selection of the ones that I've used over the years. So that was the one from two years, I can't remember the years, but um, so there's about 12 of these. So you can, this is the one from last year slightly bigger than in my journal but yeah you could you could um use them like throughout the journal you could make you could write in them just your um so say you had a photo on on a on a page and then you could just put cut one of these and then write your little caption anyway i just thought it'd be fun to put a selection of them with each journal so carrying on with the wreath theme um and then the first page there's this uh, floating pocket which just has a few bits and pieces on the inside. There's a ribbon trim. The, the journals are quite simple on the inside. As I say, um, you'll get a pack of things to play with in your journal. Um, I, I actually intended to keep them even more simpler than they turned out, but I was having <laughs> quite a lot of fun um, with them. So, uh, they're quite they're quite full already but a lot of these things are removable so you you will have more more room to grow anyway this is a new um artwork print i painted this very recently um so of some eucalyptus leaves and ivy uh kind of eucalyptus leaves anyway yeah i just really love the colors of these there's um just an embellishment of fabrics there and a faux leaf some pom-pom trim and this is uh, a print of one of the wreaths that I showed you and I was very pleased because I figured out a way of folding the paper so that you get um rather than have a wreath and then fold it in half and you only get half the wreath I figured out a, a way of getting the whole wreath across a double page spread if that makes sense so that that made me very happy so you can have lots of fun writing in there and attaching things I don't know it's just it's just there for you to use however you want I absolutely adore December journaling as you can see my journal from last year is so full and I wanted to create um I didn't add all of these when I made the journal I added them as I went along like all the ribbons hanging out and all the things. But I wanted to create at least a little bit of that with these journals. So this journal, this my big chunk, chunky journal inspired um, these journals. So yes, just lots of uh, blank spaces for you to make your own. There's a pocket here with one of my artwork prints. of a reindeer. And then here is... Um, couple of acetate pockets which I've just put some scrapbook paper and a tag in but you can take those out and fill these pockets with whatever you want it's nice that they're clear so you could even put some photos in there some music paper some very pretty paper and I sewed on this uh, embellishment here for some Christmas sparkle it's just falling off this is a new piece of artwork of a birdie I think I painted that last week or the week before. It's very recent anyway. And then here is a Christmas card. And then I, they came with these little um, die cuts. So I, I matched it up and then created a, this little tuck spot in there. So it looks like it's just a card. But actually, if you look closely, there's a tuck spot. And then there's some little bits to play with as well. ribbon tab some ledger paper this is one of the wreaths so the wreaths come as a double page spread but they also come as um as postcards for you to use within the journal as well there's that one 
middle of the first signature. Another wreath double page spread. So lots of space for you to make the journal your own. This is another new bit of artwork or some mistletoe. An artwork print. The other side of that pretty paper and the embellishment. Um, a pocket there and one of my artwork prints. Wreath double page spread. Another bit of new artwork um, print. This is a vintage uh, card. Second signature Robin, one of my artwork prints. Double page spread of a wreath. And this one is actually, this tuck spot is actually um, a bit of this wreath that is magnified. <laughs> this little, this section here that's magnified really much, 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 much bigger. And I thought that would be fun to make a tuck spot with. And it's reinforced with card. And then this is like craft paper, another wreath and a printable. I can't remember what this is. Kaiser craft, maybe? I don't remember. But anyway, just a, a tag there. Beautiful fabric tab there, lace trim. And there's a tuck spot in here with uh, and then a fold out. Let me open it. A fold out envelope so you can write in here. A little Santa in there and some stickers to play with. Okay. Another little tuck spot there. Here's the wreath, there's the paper. That's the wreath on a postcard. Another um, one of my watercolour prints. There's a tuck spot in here as well. And we have a, a tuck spot there and just a vintage printable. And these are, this this is vintage, um, a little, I don't know what you call these cutout things. They belong to my friend's grandmother. So I put those there. And that's the journal. So um, I'll flick through one more but it'd be very quick because they're all really very, pretty much the same, to be honest. Okay, so let's have a look at one one more. Um, so there's this one. It has a, a different wreath on the front. A little ornament, the same pocket. Um, the two buttons. The lace pocket on the back. The same tabs and everything. So as you can see, it's very simple. Well, it's exactly the same. The only difference is probably the, that paper will be different and there might be some variations of, of papers that are used within the journal. So the same wreath there, the pocket with the bits in it. These are all the same. This is a different card, but the, this has a, a tuck spot in there as well and some bits and pieces to play with. Pocket with artwork. And all of the wreaths and everything, they're all in the same order in each journal. This is a print. I don't think I said that last time. It's just a printable of a, of a vintage card. <clears throat> so 
So yeah, tuck spot there, leaf. So yeah, as you can see, it's very similar. The, the only difference is some of the papers are different. Tuck spot there with the envelope. Absolutely adore these journals. I always wish I had made one for myself <laughs> when I do them, but then I don't think that far ahead because I haven't made my December daily journal yet. Um, so yeah, that's that one. So as you can see, they're all similar. So I won't flick through anymore. They're they're all it will get very boring because they're all pretty much the same. And then each journal comes with one of these. So I'll, I'll open one to show you what's in there so as i say just something for you to um use to add to your journals so it's just a little goodie bag i really enjoyed putting these together there's some ribbon there which you can use and another wreath print it's a little gold little peg and let's see what's in here <clears throat> Yeah, just lots of different um, tags and things to to play with that you can add as tuck spots within the journal or you can use as journaling spots. It's a little London bus tag. Yeah, I won't go for some tissue paper with London things on it. And then it's just some paper scraps, some pretty papers that you can embellish the journal further with and then in here I have um, my husband's grandmother Nana Lily collected a whole load of buttons <laughs> which I have loads and loads of so I sorted through some just to find um, similar colours. Oh there's some ribbon in there, uh, there's a little ornament there and then two couple of bells and these were all these were both Nana Lilies collected from her bits Christmas not Christmas things just her things but then I thought they would be good for Christmas um so yeah that's in there so that that comes with the journal and they're all the still pretty um similar in each bag you will get the same sorts of things oh making a mess now so there we are what else do I need to tell you oh yes um as a Christmas offer I'm putting these journals with free postage, postage. So there we are. Um, sending you lots of love. Yeah, so these are currently will be listed in my shop. There's, I made six, but there's four still available. And I'm sending you lots and lots of love. Bye-bye.